This is the best you station in the Bay. You still tune into the wrestling show. We are going at it from now. For, okay, well, not from now. From now all the way up until 8 a.m., right? So we were previewing the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view here before the song break. Of course, that was You Don't Know, Eminem featuring 50 Cent, Cassius, as well as Lloyd Banks. Oh! God, you don't know, but you're acting like you... Oh, my God. Hey, uh-uh. You know what? Some people just don't know. Some people just don't know, but they think they, they're acting like they know. You know, they, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Right, so before the break, we were previewing the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. We ended it off with Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we also do have another match on the cards here. And it is Enzo Amore versus Big Cass. Now, this stems all the way from Big Cass to what will be found out that Big Cass betrayed Enzo. He was the one who betrayed Enzo. He was the one who was attacking Enzo Amore each and every single time backstage. Because initially, a, certain, a few people were suspected. Because the Revival were supposed... They were thought to be not on Monday Night Raw for a number of weeks. But then each time Enzo Amore got attacked or be cast, the Revival was spotted backstage near the scene. So at first they thought it was the Revival. And then when Big Cass got attacked... He said that by is the hardest that he's ever been hit at the back of his head. So initially, you you know, Big Cass is seven foot, so the immediate suspicion from Big Cass went to the Big Show. After a process of elimination and the work done by Corey Graves, which I still have to say, what's happening between Corey Graves and Kurt Angle? And I'm not sure who gave Corey Graves the information. I can't wait to see how that transpires. But after some information from Corey Graves, it was found out that it was actually Big Cass who was the one who was attacking Enzo Amore. And then, fast forward now, that has led to a match at Great Balls of Fire. I can definitely say, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm looking forward to this match because of the fact that I want to see what Enzo can do as a singles competitor. Because one has to think that it's been, a, it's been a while now that a lot of people want to believe that, and for good reason too. A lot of people want to believe that, okay, you know, we know that Big Cass can hold his own. Because if you've noticed in the tag team matches, uh, Big Cass has had a great role to play whenever it comes to Enzo and Cass being in the ring. But now it's a time for them to be a singles competitors, to be in singles competition. Now... I also personally I want to see if Enzo can hold his own in this match, you know, if Enzo can hold his own as a singles competitor. On the microphone, holds his own. Not sure who on Monday Night Raw is better than Enzo Amore. Although one can say the Miz comes a very very close in competition. So now I'm excited for this match because I want to see how it transpires. I want to see what Enzo can do as a singles competitor in the ring. That's Enzo Amore and Big Cass who will be at great balls of fire. Now, a match, a match, there will be a match for the Intercontinental Championship. I can definitely tell you that The Miz will defend his Intercontinental Championship. But as to who he's going to defend it against, I don't want to reveal that here. Because we are in South Africa, of course. We are in a, in, in a country where people have not seen... Mon- C- certain people who have, s- who have not seen Monday Night Raw from this past uh, Monday uh, in the USA... Um, I don't want to spoil it for them. I don't want to spoil it for all you guys who have not seen Monday Night Raw as yet. So what I want to do is say this to you. The Miz will be defending his Intercontinental Championship at Great Balls of Fire, right? But I'm not going to tell you who he's going to defend it against. That you will see on this coming Monday Night Raw. But for those who have seen Monday Night Raw, then you will know that. But personally for me, I'm rooting for The Miz um, in this match. Um, I'm thinking that The Miz is going to win. Nothing against his opponent, of course. Nothing can take nothing away from his opponent. But I think the Miz is going to win this match. And I am absolutely very glad to be seeing that the Miz is with Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. I'm, see, a lot of people seem to think that because we don't see Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas um, in the ring as often... They, they might think about maybe these guys are not that good. 
let's not forget people that Axel and Dallas and are, are if I think Dallas is third generation, ne? He and Bray are third generation, if I'm not mistaken. And Axel is he, Axel is third generation. Alright? When when it comes to the superstars who have wrestling in their blood and who've been around that environment for a very long time, I th- I think if you put them in that conversation when it comes to competing in the ring, they would show you flames. I I'm assuming. People, team, people tend to forget at times that Bo Dallas is a former NXT champion. Ne? And also people forget when it comes to Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel is a former intercontinental champion. So these guys, as far as pedigree wise, they're people to look out for. And at the same time, when it comes to Curtis Axel, I seem to remember before he redebuted in the WWE as Curtis Axel, he was actually put over by The Rock. And The Rock actually said to people that but people should watch out for this man because this man is talented. So I, for one, when it comes to Curtis Axel, I pay attention. If he's in the ring, I pay attention. So The Miz will be defending his championship at Great Balls of Fire. But as to who he's going to be defending it against, that all depends. Um, well, we, I know who he's going to be defending it against. And, and a lot of other people know who he's going to be defending it against. And the people who are, who are listening now who know who he's going to be defending it against know that but it has the potential to be a good match for the Intercontinental Championship. But uh, for the people who don't know, who have not seen Monday Night Raw uh, on ETV this coming weekend, I won't spoil it for you. Rather, you see it for yourself. Right. So that is the that is the uh, Intercontinental Championship match here uh, at Great Balls of Fire. Now we're getting very close to the main event. But before we get to the main event, I do want to shout out this match which was made this past week. On Monday Night Raw, this past weekend on Monday Night Raw, which is Cesaro and Sheamus will be defending their championships versus the Hardy Boys in a 30 minute Iron Man match. Now, the reason why I made that, the main reason why I'm announcing this one is because um, I, I don't think maybe, um, I don't think people will actually hate before announcing it here if you have not seen Monday Night Raw as yet because you will see it. Um, it, it it's not for me. I'm not surprised that this match was made, and I'm glad that it was made because if you remember, we did have the the steel cage match where Sheamus and Cesaro won the championships, and we also did have the two out of three falls match, which which mm, they came the Hardy Boys came very close. I'm saying that much. So now to have a 30 minute Iron Man match one can say that but now there is no I don't want to say the Sheamus and Cesaro can't run from this one if they want to like run away from it and I'm not saying they were planning to run but now this match 30 minutes with these competitors with Sheamus with Sheamus and Cesaro two of the most physical when it comes to Sheamus especially one of the most physical athletes in the entire WWE I mean the man kicked Jeff Hardy's tooth right out of his skull. One has to... <laughs> one has to, You have to pay attention to that. You can't kick a man's tooth right out of his mouth and again, what would you telling me that I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be wary of the fact that but this man is capable of quite a lot. So, 30 minute Iron Man match for the Raw Tag Team Championships that will be Cesaro and Sheamus facing the Hardy Boys that is Matt and Jeff Hardy. All right. Now, I want people to realize what's about to happen here. Not here on the show, but when it comes to the card. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. This match will be hard hitting. This match will be physical. This match will be absolutely gruesome. Strowman and Reigns have beat each other up so much. Strowman is the mountain among men. The monster among men. But Reigns is the big dog. He is the one who runs the yard. And before Strowman got injured... Roman was really not having the time of his life with Braun. Braun was Braun has Roman's number one has to believe. 
And no one believes that more than Braun Strowman. I will come out and say that this has the potential to be a show stealer because of what I've seen in the past. Because Roman and Strowman were having a great run together before Strowman got injured. But when Strowman came back, one has to wonder now what's going to happen going forward. And I'm looking forward to this match, you know. And these guys are literally going to lay into each other. That I have no doubt about. And if this was, if this is deemed to be a co-main event, I won't be surprised if this match is the second last match on the card, honestly. So I won't be surprised. But Roman and Strowman, Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. Definitely a match to look forward to. And ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to the main event of the evening. The premier attraction match for this pay-per-view. And I can tell you right now, Remember I was asking the question on social media. I asked it on Twitter, at Matibas Radio, as well as on Facebook, Matibas Radio. And I said, which match are you looking forward to? Someone here uh, commented on social media. And Ute, Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Joe has been attacking Brock, and now I want to see how he'll do with the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event for WWE Great Balls of Fire. Brock Lesnar will be defending the Universal Championship against Samoa Joe. I won't say much on this match, but I'll just say this. This has been a dream match for many people around the world. Including, if uh, if I'm not mistaken, Jim Cornette said that this is a dream match of his. And if you listen to the Talk is Jericho podcast... When Samoa Joe returned to it, when he spoke to Chris Jericho, he actually said, this was right after Ucho, um, I think it was after he debuted on the main roster as well. No, was it, off? was it after that? So, okay, now I'm getting them confused. But the point of the matter that I'm trying to make is that Joe did say that he, he the one person that he's looking to face in the WWE is Brock Lesnar because it I mean you can't deny it. that's the one match that people have been wanting to see and now now we have a chance to see it Brock has proven time and time again why he's the beast Joe has proven that if he gets the coquina clutch on you it's trouble and we saw on Monday Night Raw when he got the coquina clutch on Lesnar we saw what he can do I mean, Brock turned, man. I don't even say I don't even say he turned pink. Brock turned about almost red, if not red in the face. I'm not sure what TV you were watching on. So to me, it looked like red. So this is a match to look forward to, and this is this match is the main event for a reason, because you got two bad athletes. I don't want to say the other word because I don't want to be you know fired, but you got two bad athletes. Going at it one on one in the ring, and then you add the WWE Universal Championship on the line. Big money match, that's all I'm saying. That is a big money match.